Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 23, and we're going to do a little bit differently than I normally do, because we're going to combine two wars. So in this video, you're going to see war number 11 and 12, and you'll see why I did that. But this first one, we're going up against an alliance called Cavalieri Pazzi. I don't know if I said that correctly. All right, so uh, I'm going up the left side here and I take path two, you can see that they did not place a defender on my first node. So in this first section on my path, I only have to fight one defender. Now I had already gone through and checked out uh, who I was gonna be facing. And when I saw this magic, I thought this is a good time to bring in my Gladiator Hulk because he is a great counter for magic. When she procs Limbo, he procs face me. So it's great. You see that? He has face me. Look at the damage he's taking. Yeah, he is an awesome, awesome uh, counter. And his special one, if you time it just right, you'll put a heal block on her so she won't even heal back from the limbo. So great, great option for fighting uh, magic. So like this uh, heal block here, uh, she didn't proc the limbo there, but had she done so, uh, she would have been heal blocked and not gotten any of that health back. So I was able to finish her off without too much difficulty. And that was the only fight that I had for that entire war. Um, they cleared that path there. And I should tell you something. Uh, we are going for boss rushes. So we're not trying to win the wars. All right. So this second war, and you'll see how we... Uh, did in that war as well as this one. Uh, Soldiers of Olympus is who we're going up against uh, in this last war. So basically a boss rush means you have a group that goes first and tries to get all the way to the boss and uh, finish the boss off. So take a look at what they did. They left the left side, they cleared the middle. Uh, one person went up the right side um, probably didn't get the memo. Then they went over to the left, cleared that. You can see the right side and the middle uh, for section two are still there. All right, now, I need to have some fights though. So of course I went to the right because I could at least get in this fight. The mini is already done. You can see how much time we have left for this war. So I'm not gonna be able to get a lot of fights in. All right, so this first fight is going to be against Storm. Now, at this point, the boss is already down, so we don't have to worry about any defense tactic. I don't know if uh, many of you guys realize that, but the boss is who has the defense tactic uh, buff. All right, so uh, we're going up against this Storm Pyramid X. You know, first fight, you know, not too bad. Pretty easy fight. All right. Uh, she's glancing. That's annoying. Um, but, you know, we're still doing pretty good. You know, we're going to bait out this special one here. And then the game crashed. Wow. I was sitting here just like, really? If we were actually trying to win, if this was, you know, in a season where we were trying to push, oh, that would have ticked me off. I'm like... Everything is going well, and the game just crashes. And, of course, the way that the code works, and it's that way because people were abusing it, uh, you'll see what happens when this happens. But it's counted as a loss to you. All right? It's counted as a loss. And, look, she's got all her health back. So she's back to full. And look at Corvus's health. So through no fault of my own, I gave up a death, and I have half health, and she's back to her full health. I don't like Alliance War, okay? Really don't. And things like that just make me hate it even more. All right, so we're back again, fighting this same storm, and uh, maybe one day they'll uh, fix these crashes. I don't know. Maybe they'll have a better code detection uh, so they can tell the difference between a crash like that and someone force quitting you know i don't know 
Don't know how difficult that is. But as you can see, the fight was, was pretty easy. I was there at a special two just before it crashed. And I was about to take her out. It is what it is. All right. So now at this point, look at how much uh, energy I have. I have two. Now I can go and finish and go all the way straight to the boss and free my champions. I had no reason to do that. So I'm eyeing this uh, Tigra because that's really the only one I can reach. I have two energy. I can't reach that Modoc down there and I won't get a third energy before the war is over. So I don't really have any options. Either I just clear, you know, go to the boss, don't worry about fighting anymore, or I fight this Tigra. So of course I fought this Tigra. All right, so Tigra, I really need practice fighting her. She got too much going on. She just, uh, her attacks are just dazzling because she's just all over the place, you know? And I didn't really want to push it to a special uh, two, but at this point in time, I'm just like, whatever, just need to get her down, you know? And I know I'm going to get her down, but she just kept going. She wouldn't fire it. Now that I'm in the corner, she fires it. Look at all these unblockables. And I, I just can't evade it. And I'm now I'm in the corner. She's aggressive. She went unstoppable. So I'm trying to push her back. That's all I was trying to do there because she went unstoppable. So I couldn't get her away from me. I got trapped in the corner and because of the node, I, it, it was, it was ugly. It was ugly. I was just like, wow. You know, I was trying to bait out her special, trying to keep from getting trapped in the corner, but it's so easy to get trapped in a corner because of her specials and just her regular attacks. All right. But now we got Corvus and I'm like, nope, I'm going hard in here. We're not getting trapped in the corner no more. All right. So boom, boom, boom. And she's down. Uh, I'm not familiar with this node because I don't normally take it. So when I was fighting and I saw she was gaining power, I'm like, wait, what? Why, why is she gaining power like that? You know, because like I said, it was not familiar to me. All right. So that was all the fights I did. Now, here is Apex Predator. Uh, he is fighting against this Killmonger on that uh, mini ball, uh, mini uh, off to the right, the stunning reflection one, which I hate. I've taken it, but it is so annoying. You do not want to parry. If you parry even by accident, that stun is going to get reflected to you, and most likely you're going to die because the node also increases the duration of debuffs so that it's a bad day so you'll notice that he's taking a lot of blocked hits he's not trying to parry um and that's pretty much how you have to fight this now he's in the corner and i'm worried now okay because when i'm in the corner that's not a good thing and i'm surprised he didn't go unstoppable there but like what you see happening right here that is what will happen to me if I get trapped in the corner with Killmonger because I don't know how to dex his heavy attack. So if I'm in the corner and he just starts spamming heavies, I'm dead. All right, but uh, Apex Predator got to that special three and got out of the corner and now he is going in. All right, he can't go too hard because of course you don't want to push him to a special uh, three, but just look at this. Weakness. He's back to a special two. Boom, boom, boom. And now he's back to a special three. Um, yes, he is using uh, some power boosts, I believe. Uh, so, and, I, and I, he might have um, MD as well. But this is a great showcase for uh, Symbiote Supreme. So you can see the power of uh, Symbiote Supreme. All right. Good job. Good job uh, so far, Apex Predator. Look at this. Woo. Look at all that damage. Oh my goodness. Woo. And he's done. You know, I run suicide, so doing that would have just wrecked me. You know, that's why I don't use champions like that. All right, so this is the boss fight. That's how much health the boss has left. Ghost is a good option for uh, fighting Apocalypse. All right. So what I believe he's doing here is he's building up to a special two and then he's going to take some uh, hits to get rid of the indestructible. There we go. That one block. And then boom. 
Nice. Beautiful. You see those crits? Those big old critties? And he's done. He Yes, he has a power boost on. Nasty. All right, guys. So that is uh, Wars 11 and 12. A little intermission. We'll come back. And not only will we see how we did in both those wars, but we will also see how we did for the season. So be right back. And we're back. And as you can see, we lost both those wars. No surprise, since we were just doing boss rushes for the last wars. There was no chance for us to move up into Platinum 3. We were pretty sure we were solidly in Platinum 4. Um, there was a chance that, you know, some dockings might happen and maybe we were close enough, but the decision was made to just go ahead and save items and do some boss rushes, all right? So let's just look at the details here real quick. Of course, we got all three bosses down. Boss rush. Uh, let's see the other one here. Uh, same thing. Uh, all three bosses down, boss rush. All right. Now, for the season, we got Platinum 4, rank 191. Uh, so, uh, Jedi Knights, rank 1. Congratulations. Um, Assassins Reloaded, uh, ASR, rank 2. Congratulations. And New Nation, rank 3. Congratulations. All right. Let me see. Can we take a look here? All right. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah, 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 yeah. And this is this is by the way, uh, platinum four. Uh, if you're wondering why you see one, but it's not uh, Jedi, this is just the platinum four. Just uh, showing you this. I don't usually uh, look through this. Hey, we just fought them, Cavalieri Pazi. Um, I believe that was War 11, and they finished uh, 43. So we all still ended up in uh, uh, Platinum 4, which is good rewards. All right. Um, just going to go through real quick so you guys can see it. And you can slow it down uh, if you really want to see it, or just hop in and, and see it. Um, I saw some names that I recognized. Hey, hey. All right. Okay. That's enough of that. Uh, let me go over here to my email. And there are the rewards. 5,000 six-star shards, 15,000 five-star shards. We've got a 2%. Uh, got another... Tier 5 basic, but these three Tier 2 alphas, I can do something with those. So let's go ahead and claim it. And that is going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.